The baby maker! What's up? Got a special visitor here. Check this out. Boom! Look at that bus! Hey! Look at that. hey, hey what's, what's going up? on? Good to finally meet oh, you! Uh, air high five! Air high fives! Oh. <laughs> what's up? Dude? Wow! Look at that! Oh my god, the deck! That's so cool! No high fives, just, just foot the foot fives, fives. Right? Yeah. So the real bus life means that our starter sometimes it comes unwiggled, so Richard will have to just bang it with the hammer. Go ahead. Hey! There's nothing a hammer can't fix. Hey guys, we are Little House on the Highway. I'm Richard, this is Elizabeth. Hello. And today we're testing out the Baby Maker. Uh, <laughs> Nice. Woo! Look at that. Hey, my man. Hey, come on in. What's up? This is Little House on the Highway. This is our bus. We've been living in it full time for almost two years. It's a 1996 Thomas International. It's got the 7.3 liter turbo diesel engine. We bought the bus with 247,000 miles. And we've taken it about 30,000 miles so far all across the country. We've been to 47 states. Yeah, we still need Utah and Alaska. So we're on hold right now, but hopefully we get to those pretty soon. Why don't you like Utah? We What's love Utah. It? We're like scoping it we out, just, planning everything. Doesn't sound like it. We just haven't been there yet. We, we <laughs> missed it. <laughs> We've been there. I've been there, but not in the bus. So we're excited for the weather to warm up a little bit, but it's getting nice. So come on in. The whole bus is 34 feet long, but the living space from the front to the back is 25 wow. feet. So it's 25 by seven. So it's about 175 square feet. That's beautiful. And you're a tall guy, you can stand up in here? Yeah, I'm 6'1". This is a Thomas bus. Um, wow. We lucked out and uh, didn't have to do a roof raise or anything. Plenty of room. I could I could play basketball in here with no yeah, issues. You could jump. <laughs> Actually, our most popular feature is our chairs. These are two flex steel chairs that okay. we got from a friend. And then we can swivel those 360 and then also fold out a table to eat or to work on. 
and the floor is actually one big piece of vinyl that you rolled out. So it was mm. a really cheap, inexpensive, waterproof, flexible way to get floor down in the bus. We've got 40 gallons of fresh water. Where's the fresh water tank? Our fresh water is underneath our bed. Okay. Right here. Wow. So it's under there and we just bring a hose over to the window and fill it up right nice. there. Nice. Yeah. It's just, a water bed. And <laughs> this is a full size bed. There's some storage underneath, but one of our plans is to turn this bed into a couch and then this whole opening will be open and we'll be able to open the door and store bikes and motorcycles and have kind of a garage area. We've got a small travel toilet back here. This is the closet area and the toilet area. Okay. It's a cassette toilet. Mm -hmm. If we built a shower, we would build it here, but who, we... who empties the toilet? I gotta know. Elizabeth. Why Elizabeth? He refuses to pee in it so that I am the only one that uses it. <laughs> down and then I empty it. So. <laughs> He's like, no, I ain't emptying that. I'm not going to be in there. <laughs> How do you cook? We cook with either our one burner stove, um, like a hot pot type thing. We also have a vintage Coleman camp stove that uses white gas. This is the Brava. The Brava. And it runs off of our solar. That's a printer, right? That's it what is. everyone says. That's this disguise. But it's infrared and it's a smart oven so there's all these features it'll tell you how to make whatever you want it's really cool they partnered with us and they gave us this no way brava if you're watching hook it up <laughs> your man could use an oven here is kind of how we built the bus well look at that 96. They bought it for how much? $2,500. We found Dang. that on Craigslist. These guys bought their house for less than your monthly rent. <laughs> Think about that. So we took out the seats, started repairing the floor, I had some holes in the wheel wells, so we repaired those. Took out the old insulation, started building a subfloor, and that's foam board. That goes in like a grid, and then the plywood floor goes on top. Made some boxes around the wheel wells filled up the walls with new insulation, covered them up, did some painting and then laid down our vinyl. We sanded and painted the outside of the bus and then we put a lot of household furniture in the bus instead of building everything. Mm -hmm. And we painted it and uh, Little House on the Highway was born. We've been 30,000 miles and we have been to 47 states. Whoa. This is our route that we've done. You know, those are M&M minis. So you had it printed, wow. Yeah, we, I put them all on there, we took a picture. Oh, damn, I was getting hungry. <laughs> I know, hungry sugar. We should all go on the roof deck. I don't know if you're ready to do Let's that. do it, yeah. All right. Get, but this is all welded to the bus, so no matter if how we're parked, it's super secure. Woo! How sick is this, Larry? Yeah, this is pretty awesome. This is amazing. Wow, look at the view from up here. This is super chill. This is like our built-in patio. So if we go and we'll park in a parking lot, we can still bring our food up here, have a picnic wherever we are. Um, we've really had a lot of fun with it, bring a lot of friends up here. So this is uh, 400 watts. It's four 100 watt panels. And we have 400 amp hours of batteries in the bus. So this fills that up just fine. Yeah. So if I did any upgrades, I would want more batteries. Yeah. Because even if I had more panels, it wouldn't matter because the matter. batteries are full. Check these guys out. Little House on the Highway on YouTube. We'll put the link below. At Little House on the Highway on Instagram. We'll put that up here on the screen. And it's HWY. HWY. Highway. Check these guys out. Go be creative. Have some fun. Yeah, get Live a at the top of your bus. <laughs> <laughs>
got you going. Even though it's only a one single speed, I didn't feel limited by only having one speed. I could see a bike like this fitting in with van life or bus life or nomadic living just because it's not that bulky. It's very light, it's very thin, it's very maneuverable and we've got solar power so we can charge the bike whenever we need to. Yeah, and I really like how the Baby Maker is a smart bike, but there's not a lot of extra stuff. You know, so you, you turn it on, you want more power, you get more power, you want to slow it down. It's very easy, very straightforward. Um, just a really great design. I think the Baby Maker bike would help in van life or bus life because we only have the bus. So if we need to go to the store or run some errands, we gotta start up the bus every single time, but I think having a bike, something to run out and do errands on. Everybody should <clears throat> check out the Baby Maker. Yeah, I think so. It's I'd... not just a crazy name, it's it really <laughs> delivers. Yeah. So, pun intended. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think everyone should check it out. I mean, what have you got to lose? You just learn more about it, and if it's something for you, then you should definitely check it out.